Hey guys, welcome to my 3 or 3 or 2 video. I haven't been uh, making videos for quite a while now, which is because I was pretty busy with working and school and whatever. The first thought you might have now is, what the fuck is up with your hair? Well, that's a good question. I don't really know myself either. This is just how I woke up this morning. Anyway, um, back to the topic. I thought it would be quite funny to show you my first attempts of making a 3 or 3 or 2 which was one of the puzzles that just interested me most and I write about how you, c you can modify your own from a keychain then bandage some stuff and then put on some other pieces you can make hollow and here I try the wood and then you can like glue them on and then you'll create a 3 or 3 or 2 which I failed on pretty miserably as you can see here I tried it two times at least yeah, and I don't think the dominoes were very nice, because, well, the recognition was horrible on those. So, um, I was pretty happy to see lately that there was the opportunity to buy a QJ302 from, well, like, pop buying and stuff like that, and Q4U. So, the first thing that I did was, of course, order one, and here mine is. I think it's one of the... Well, I, I opened it once. Well, maybe it's not the best idea to do it now because it already exploded once on me. So the the mechanism is is quite unique. It's not like the two by two uh, well the three by three keychain from the inside but rather a original mechanism which is the same that is used in the Rubik's dominoes. Anyway, through through a two what I think about is it's it's pretty good it's a pretty good puzzle, but there are some minor annoying things about it, that if you turn it too many times anti-clockwise, well, it's not doing it now, but yeah, now, now it did that. See? There's a there's spring inside it, and if you turn it anti-clockwise, then the top of the spring just catches on something, and then if you turn it a little bit further, it has the... It tends to jump back a little bit, which causes a lot of plus twos. And then if you just turn it a little bit further, then it just scrapes along with whatever. Anyway, um, 30302 first. I'm sure you're curious how I solve the 30302. I just figured it out on my own and made, well, I looked up two algorithms. I averaged about like 12 seconds with it. Anyway, the first thing that I would do if I have a 30302 is uh, just make a block of uh, two solve, or a uh, block of two by two solve of solved pieces. Oh no, that's not correct. <laughs> that sucks. Um, <coughs> yeah, this is what I mean. Uh, you just have a little block on one of the sides. Then extend it to a bigger block. Well, in this case, I already have the edge here. And I need to put it in this corner here, which is pretty easy with R, U, R, U minus R. Kind of like the sexy move, but then with R2 all the, always, because there is no R on this. So after that we got this whole block here, then I just make the last bar on the right bottom side, and in this case I can just put this corner here up there, then this corner goes away. Well, you can figure that out on your own. And then we got one layer. After one layer I just do uh, like T-perm. T-perm is pretty easy, it's uh, yeah, well, if you hold the, the good corners here and you want to switch these corners, I solved the last layer in two steps, first solving corners and then the edges. Well, T-perm is like R, U, R, U, R, which is just sexy move, and then you can just, well, for the for the easy part, you can just do this, and then, well, just do a, do a Y rotation of the cube, and then do the same thing on the left side, solving that piece again, and now you would have all corners solved. Of course, after the first three moves, you can also rotate the, the same, well, the, the other direction, so the moves stay R and U, because from this side it would be L and U, and then from this side it would be R and U, but the moves are the same. So, that's the next step. Now, for the last layer, you can just, for the, for the last step of making the last edges, you can just learn some algorithms. For example, this is like the, the semi-H, as I call it, and well, these are like lonely edges, and these are like 
you would have on a on a H firm, you can see all everywhere there's the opposite color in the middle. Recognized by H firm. So I found this algorithm. And I didn't even do it correct. That's great. Well, uh, I'll first maybe um I think I forgot all my algorithms now, but yeah, that was a three cycle. Anyway, um, the other one that I wanted to show you was yeah that one. So you hold the two H pieces on the left back. Tuck, 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 tuck. Pretty funny. Most of my algorithms actually start with a, a small R. Anyway, that's how I solve it, and I'll just try to do a really fast average of five now. Well, I already know that it's going to be fast because I already videotaped it, but anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video and keep on watching my videos. Wow.